Hello and welcome to another update on the Bakhmut and Luhansk fronts. So starting out in the Bakhmut front, we see that the Ukrainians started a counterattack around Kurdyumivka and Utsaryanivka. So the Ukrainians attempted to regain control over these villages to the west of the Bakhmut sector as it allows them to flank the current Russian positions as they have advanced towards Klitschivka and are finding around Opitne, which are the main focus points. Taking control over these villages will allow them to push behind the Russian forces and advance towards their positions from the back or attack their positions along the highway, which will disrupt their supply lines. At the same time, we're seeing that the Russians are attacking and advancing within Bakhmut. They're doing so from the residential area to the south and around Opitne. However, from the northeast, their, their, their attempts at advancing towards the city has failed, as they have put the blunt of their forces towards Bithorodne, which is still ongoing. At the same time, uh, Rybar is reporting that uh, there's a large military buildup of Ukrainian soldiers in Bakhmut, and that they plan to advance and push back the Russian forces outside the city, uh, back to the positions before uh, the Russian advances lately. That means taking Upitne, Ivanrad, and reaching the highway in the east. So they've sent four new brigades to the Bakhmut front, which means approximately 16,000 troops, and that is to replenish the losses as well as reinforcements to be able to drive the Russians back. As the current situation right now with how Wagner has combined with Russian forces and the DPR, to uh, help assault the city, the Ukrainians are most likely evenly matched or outnumbered. And then with the superior firepower of the Russian army, then they would be outmatched. So with the new reinforcements, they are hoping to level the field in Bakhmut. Uh, further north towards the Solodar area, we see that the Russians are still attempting to advance in both Bakhmutska as well as Solodar. And their fighting is still ongoing. As for the Luhansk front, the latest report of uh, Ukrainian events towards Ploshchenka uh, had failed, and then the Russians have decided to counterattack towards Nevsky after uh, pushing back the Ukrainian forces. And finally, to the north around uh, the Kislivka area, the Russians have started a counterattack to try and retake the village of Kislivka and Kotlyarivka, which are on these hills right here, surrounded by valleys to all sides. So this is a very important defensive position, especially around by the highway. Anyways, that's it for this update. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.